In the bacteriological laboratory, the research of canned meat on the content of botulinum toxin is carried out. To do this, the experimental group of mice was injected with an extract of the test material and antitoxic antibotulinum serum types A, B, E. The control group of mice was injected with extract without antibotulinum serum. What serological reaction was used? Keywords such as canned meat, botulinum toxin and antibotulinum serum emphasize that the text is about botulism. We know that among the above types of serological reactions, mice are used only in the neutralization reaction. Therefore, in this test the correct answer is a neutralization reaction. Botulinum toxin neutralization reaction is performed on white mice. Intraperitoneally, mice are injected with the above test material in a mixture with monovalent antibotulinum serum. Observations are carried out for four days. During this time, mice that aren't protected by ABS against the third type of the pathogen that caused the disease in the patient die with a typical clinical picture of botulism. In this photo, you can see a mouse with botulism. Mice that were injected with ABS corresponding to the type of botulinum toxin circulated in the patient's blood remain alive. If the patient's neutralization reaction of botulinum toxin is positive with ABS against one type of botulinum toxin, there is no need for bacteriological examination. Serological reactions in the diagnosis of botulism, such as precipitation, complement binding, etc., haven't been used. This can be explained by the fact that the lethal dose is much lower than that which can cause antigenic irritation and the appearance of specific antibodies. After eating canned meat, patient N developed diplopia, severe headache, swallowing disorders, difficulty breathing and muscle weakness. Botulism was diagnosed. What pathogenicity factor is associated with the clinical manifestations of this disease? The keywords in this test are canned meat, botulism and botulism symptoms. A similar clinical picture can only be caused by the exotoxin of the causative agent of botulism, because this toxin is a neurotoxin. You can see the mechanism of action of botulinum toxin in the photo. The other toxins you see in the variants are not neurotoxic, therefore the correct answer is exotoxin. Dried fish was brought to the bacteriological laboratory from the source of food poisoning, during the study of which a bacteriologist found microorganisms like a tennis racket grown on Kitatarotsi medium. What kind of disease could they cause? In this test, the main keywords are dried fish, tennis racket and Kitatarotsi medium. Spores enter the intestines of fish with sealed and polluted water and uh, in the process of evisceration they seed the edible parts of the fish. If the fish is kept warm for at least some time before salting or at the beginning of salting, the spores dominate and the causative agents of botulism begin to release toxin. In a stained smear, bacteria look like tennis rackets, because the spore in Clostridia is larger than the cell size. We can grow this anaerobic bacterium in the Kitatarotsi medium, which consists of meat peptone brose, 0.5% glucose and pieces of liver or minced 
made to absorb oxygen from the medium. Before sewing, this medium is heated in a boiling water bath for 20 to 30 minutes to remove oxygen from the medium. After sewing, the nutrient medium is immediately poured with a layer of paraffin or Vaseline oil to isolate it from oxygen. Therefore, the correct answer is botulism. A newborn, 20 days old, died of tetanus. Where is the pathogen most likely to be found? The keywords in this test are newborn and tetanus, namely neonatal tetanus. A child can become infected through the umbilical wound, into which bacterial spores can enter with non-sterile medical instruments. Therefore, the correct answer is umbilical wound. The mother of a child who began to eat purely grimaced while eating. From the anamnesis it is known that 10 days ago the child injured a leg with a coat. She didn't seek medical help. What disease can be suspected in a child? The first key word here is grimace, because one of the first symptoms of tetanus is a rhesus sardonicus. You can see it in this photo. The next words are injured a leg with a coat. Spores of this bacterium enter the wound, then under anaerobic conditions, germinate into vegetative cells and produce tetanospasmin. Therefore, the correct answer is tetanus. For the plant prevention of infectious diseases, the child should be given the DPT vaccine. This vaccine contains in this test, the correct answer is A. Killed pertussis vaccine, diphtheria and tetanus toxoids. Toxoid is an exotoxin neutralized by formalin. This vaccine can be either with a whole component from the pertussis pathogen or with an acellular one, includes three antigens from Bordetella pertussis. Therefore, you just need to remember this answer. The laboratory received material from the patient's wound. Preliminary diagnosis gas gangrene. What microbiological method can be used to establish the species of the pathogen? Only bacteriological methods can identify the causative agent of gas gangrene by biochemical and hemolytic characteristics. Gas gangrene immunity is associated with the production of toxin-neutralizing antibodies. However, their protective activity is insufficient to control infection and doesn't protect against reinfection. Therefore, serological methods aren't used, and bacteroscopic allergic methods don't allow determining the type of pathogen. So, the correct answer is bacteriological method. Gram-positive spore-forming roads were isolated under oxygen-free conditions in patient car from soil-contaminated wounds. When cultured on blood sugar agar, colonies surrounded by a zone of hemolysis grew. What pathogen was isolated from the wound? The first key words in this test are spore-forming roads and oxygen-free conditions. Therefore, we 
immediately exclude answers B, D, E, because only the genus Clostridia are obligate anaerobes. We also see that the wound was contaminated with soil, and on blood sugar agar, the pathogen formed a hemolysis zone. We know that among anaerobic bacteria, the causative agent of gas gangrene has this ability. Therefore, the correct answer is Clostridium perfringens. From the wound of a patient with gas anaerobic infection, a bacterium with the following properties was isolated. A bacillus measuring 6 by 1.5 microns, gram positive, the spore is located subterminally, forms capsules in the body. What is this microbe? The first keyword is anaerobic gas infection. Only Clostridium perfringens can produce a wide range of gases such as carbon dioxide and hydrogen. They can be identified by palpation of the wound. There is a sound of crepitus. The next keyword is the subterminal location of the spores. Take a look at this photo. For example, the causative agent of tetanus has a terminal location of the spore, and the anthrax bacillus is central. Also, the causative agent of gas gangrene in the body forms a capsule. You can also see this in the photo. The smear is stained using the Burry-Hinz method. Therefore, the correct answer is Clostridium perfringens.